Welcome to video number 33, and now we're finally going to jump into MySQL or MySQL, and they both mean the exact same thing. It's just two different ways how to pronounce it. So for the remainder of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and call it MySQL. So what is MySQL? Well, MySQL is a database management system where all of our information is going to go, and that information is going to include everything from... I don't know, a giant picture gallery to product SKU numbers to customer information, etc. So remember when we downloaded XAMPP, we're using Apache as our server and MySQL as our database. So we need to know how to use MySQL so our data is in a nice structured collection. And keep in mind that MySQL is way easier to use than to program in PHP. So don't get too overwhelmed. There's only like seven things we can do in MySQL and it's like, add or create and read or delete or sort. So stay with me. So back in the day, we downloaded XAMPP and we have an awesome PHP or we have an awesome MySQL application down here called PHP MyAdmin. Don't click on that yet because I want to show you what people used to do back in the day and some people still might do this. They'd go up to their terminal and I'm on a Mac. So if you're on a PC, you probably just however you get to like your DOS page. So this is how we would program in MySQL and it was a lot more difficult because it was easier to make a mistake and if you didn't know the syntax it would just be a nightmare. But we downloaded XAMPP and in, in XAMPP we have PHP MyAdmin which again is like the coolest MySQL application or program anybody could ever have. So if you're having a hard time getting to this page turn on your Apache on your XAMPP control make sure your Apache and MySQL are both on and if you're still having a hard time reading it, type in localhost. And if it doesn't read, type in, okay, I'll start from the top, localhost. And this might take you to the page. It's not www.localhost.com. It's just localhost. And if this doesn't take you there, type in localhost forward slash XAMPP. So again, let's click on PHP My Admin. It opens up in a new tab. And there it is. Okay, so in the next... In the next video, we're going to go ahead and create our first database. So I'll see you guys over there.